Hey, Weather Warrior family, whether you're tuning in from the East Coast, West Coast, Central US, I thought this was kind of cool. So I was going to show it to you real quick. And we got a big storm system coming up again Friday for much of the Central US. Now you might be wondering, what in the world is this thing? And how is this going to affect the country? Well, this is measuring the instability in the atmosphere. The bright areas are the high instability areas, especially where you see the spikes. Well, that's kind of true. I mean, that's that's rising motion in the atmosphere that is fueling this incredible system that we've had evolve across Nebraska, Kansas, Colorado, Oklahoma, and Texas over the past week. Now, what's happening here is this is right now on Thursday afternoon. Now, let's get rid of this ridiculous drawing. And you can see, as we head towards Friday here, watch what happens. This is Thursday, that mean dry line. It scoops up and brightens up again in Nebraska and Iowa, and then it happens again Saturday. So this is now. It dies out because the sun goes down, brightens up there. That's Friday. Dies out, then brightens up again on Saturday. So... Omaha, Nebraska, Des Moines, Sioux Falls, Sioux City, Grand Island, going to be the next area to really watch here. So it brightens up right there. That's what we're going to want to watch. And so we're going to go over to our trusty computer model and check this out. So we'll turn this off real quick. I've got the studio gizmos going on here. All right, so we got this right here. This is the composite reflectivity. Now watch what happens here. This is right now. So if you're in Oklahoma and Kansas, you're still seeing those nasty thunderstorms, but that's mostly eastern Oklahoma and Kansas now. These will continue throughout the night. I wouldn't worry too much about severe weather. The caps starting to reform, the dew points, and the temperatures are really close together, but that cap is going to keep those tornado threats, those storms above the cap, and it's too high for a tornado that way. But as we head towards... The uh, afternoon here on Friday, look what happens here. Nebraska, there's a low pressure system sitting right in Nebraska. Well, with those low pressure systems, it's going to suck up moisture from the Gulf. That's going to spark thunderstorms for the southeast, but also right near the low in Nebraska. And if you zoom in here, or we go forward here Friday afternoon and evening, that blows up right along the Missouri River. So areas near Omaha, Lincoln, are going to have to be the next people to watch these storm systems. And then as we head towards Friday afternoon and evening, this is after, this is 10 p.m., it kind of re-strengthens in Iowa. We have a nice little bow echo thing, so that bright colored area, Iowa, Des Moines, and parts of uh, Missouri, that's, you're going to definitely be under the gun there. Now, one thing before I end this video, it's just a quick su super secret segment video. We're going to take a zoomed in shot here and look at the updraft helicity. Now the updraft helicity, well, this is measuring the rotation in these thunderstorms. The more you get of these, the more intense these thunderstorms typically are. And you can see uh, right here in Southwest Iowa and parts of Nebraska, you see these streaks. That's measuring mesocyclone rotation potential. So lots of rotation in these thunderstorms. So if you're in Southeast Iowa or Southwest Iowa, Southeast Nebraska, stay tuned.